Hi again, here we are to continue our JSON um, parsing. And in the last video, I, I added Swifty JSON to my project and I, I sorted through one of the JSON elements. And since the last video, I went through and I, I collected you know, the JSON address for several of the items in the, in the data returned from iTunes. I got the name, the summary, the category, image 60, image 170, artist and ID. There were actually three images in the file, but two of them seem to be the same image 60 size, right? They seem to have the same URL. So I, I think the first two were the same image here, um, but I got both images. There was the third image is 170 sized image. So at least that's what I'm assuming it is, right? So anyway, I thought this was enough information for my app. Um, now what we need to do is we need to get all the entries, okay? So I actually printed out the um, name category ID. I actually printed all these to make sure that they were correct, right? I didn't do it here, but earlier, I, as I got each one, I printed it and tested it in the console just to make sure that I was getting the right thing. Um, if you get the wrong address here, um, this will return a nil. So the thing here will just end up nil, and that's why all these are optionals, right? Or at least in the console, they end up they end up as optionals, right? Um, so uh, so let's see. So our next thing here, what are we going to do, right? So the next thing we need to do is we actually need to loop through every item. So this value here, remember, you know, if we switch this to number one, it would give us the second entry. Zero would give us the first entry, right? So we need to loop through all twenty five entries. So what we're going to do is up here, we're going to say let entries equal um, JSON bracket feed, right, bracket entry, oops, uh, entry. So essentially entries right here is this portion of our JSON, you know, of the JSON address, right? And all of these begin with JSON feed entry, right? And from here, this should give us an array. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, make that type array. Okay. And you can use a guard statement here or an if let or, um, or you know, maybe we'll just um, exclamation point and, uh, um, you know, force unwrap that. Okay. And now we need to loop through each of the items in the array here. So what we'll do is we'll say for entry in entries, right? So for each item in this array, we'll put that JSON object in this thing, okay? So essentially this guy right here will be everything after the zero, okay, for each of these items, okay? So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna copy all this here now that I've got it working, right? And then I'll, you know, I'll just cut it, paste it in here, right? And we could use an if, uh, a guard or an if let or something here to check all these guys, but maybe we'll just uh, force unwrap them now, and then we can go back and fix the error checking, right? So what we need to do is remember, entry is going to be everything up until the zero. So what we're going to say is we're going to say entry string, and then if we want to force unwrap, we'll put the... Um, exclamation point on the end. So this should be entry up until the zero there. And then I'll put an exclamation point and then this guy will be entry and uh, entry Entry entry, right? Sorry, I'm just repeating myself there, but uh, there we go. So now I think I got them all, right? Um, and you know, later we can go back and add some error checking, but let's just see if we can get that working. So so now that we've got all of these properties here and and all the properties once for each entry in in our entries that are will return from iTunes what we'll want to do is we we'll want to make an object to hold them all so I already um, made an object here called movie I've made a class I gave it the same properties name summary category image image artist ID 
I gave it an initializer, so we pass in uh, the name, summary, category, image, whatever, right? And um, then it initializes its properties with those values, right? So we'll go back here, and what we'll do is we'll say let movie equal a new movie object, uh, movie object, and then we'll want to initialize the name with the name, the summary with the summary, right? And just set up the rest of these, right? And there we go, right? Um, maybe I'll I'll add a line return here so that's kind of more readable. And there we go. So now, now that we've got a movie for each entry, we'll want to save those movies. So let's go up to the top, and you can see here I've added an, an a, a variable called movies, and it's type array, type movie. It's an array that holds movie objects, right? So what we can do now, and it's empty up there, so what we'll do is at the end of the, the loop here, so it's got to be before this curly bracket that goes with the... Um, you can see that uh, this curly bracket is highlighting as I move the cursor over the one down here. So this one closes off the for loop. So down here, what we'll do is we'll say uh, movies, wait, movies um, dot append, and then we'll append a movie object, or we'll append this movie object that we just made right there, right? And then hopefully we've got an array of movies. So at the bottom here, after the for loop ends, let's do um, print uh, movies dot count, right? So if it says you know count of twenty five, then we know that we created twenty five movies and then added them all to the array. Let's give that a test. Oh wait, oh yeah, I got to put self on this thing here and then self on this one there. There we go, right? So now let's give it a try. And let's see. Um, oh, there we go. So it says 25 in the console. I know it's kind of hard to see there with all that other garbage in the console. I don't know why they added all that extra stuff, but, but there's my 25 movies, okay? So anyway, I hope that's helpful and points you in the right direction, and good luck with your projects.